guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to do my makeup so first of all i'm going to start with my clean bare face moisturize na din yan. next is we're going to do my primer so i'm using the Flormar primer over here so naglagay ako sa cheeks sa forehead and sa chin so next spread it evenly with your hands avoid tugging it harshly to avoid premature aging on your skin Next is I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using this um, Caroline Eyebrow Mascara. I forgot to shade pero ilalagay ko na lang sila sa description box below. So minsan nasasobrahan talaga ako ng lagay. So I would just brush it off with a clean spoolie para mabawasan yung pigment. Next I'm filling it with an eyeshadow. So usually I would use my eyeshadow palette from Impressed You by Beauty Glazed. So, I just wanted to fill it in, yung mga sparse areas. So, as usual, I would just clean up my brows, yung edges ng brows ko, to make it cleaner and sharper, so that it would be aesthetic for pictures as well. So, I finished cleaning below. Now, I'm just going to clean up the top part of my eyebrows, I mean the top edge. Um, di ko alam kung tama ba yung sinasabi ko. Basta yung parang nasa taas ng kilay ko. Next, maglalagay tayo ng ating funda. Ang ginagamit ko is yung Everbelena foundation, liquid foundation rather. So, ilalagay ko na lang yung shade sa description box because I'm not holding it here. So, as you guys see, gumagawa lang ako ng whiskers. Meow! <laughs> So, I always have fun when I do my makeup. It, it is also my way para ma-relieve ko yung stress ko because I work, I study. Well, for now, walang study kasi quarantine, but I do have work. So, anyway, I'm going to blend it with this brush. As you can see, kung napapansin nyo, medyo natuklap na yung bandang pwita ng brush. It's because pagka inuugasan ko siya, minsan pati yung katawan niya inuugasan ko din. So, parang hindi ganun kakapit. Yung paint, maybe, ayun, natatanggal siya, tatutuklap. Anyway, I'm just blending it by dabbing the brush on my face. I'm not really sliding it because it will create tricky lines. Um, my beauty blenders are very dirty and I think it's time to throw them away too. So, hindi ako gumagamit ng sponge lately. So, ayun, blend lang ng blend. Be very patient about it to make sure na matatanggal mo yung streaky lines and may spread mo evenly yung foundation. So, after blending my foundation, I'm going to use another foundation. Pero this time, I'm just going to use it as a concealer. I'm using the Superstay 24-hour foundation in the shade Ivory. So, ito yung pinaka-light ata na shade nila. Ito yung 1112. So guys, wala na kasi ako matinong concealer. So I'm just using another foundation as a concealer na may mas mataas na coverage. I'm doing this to hide the imperfections na hindi natakpan ng foundation. And to also highlight my face para hindi siya yung parang flat lang. So now I'm done blending with my concealer. Now we're just going to set it with my pressed powder from e.l.f. Cosmetics. So nakat yung footage dito kasi nag-overheat yung camera ko and ayun, namatay siya automatically. So ito ngayon, pinapakita ko yung usual routine na ginagawa ko. And that is setting my under eyes with a lighter shade of powder. And then setting of course the sides. Uh, with a darker shade para lang magmukha siyang may kulay pa yung, I mean yung face ko so I'm just going to do my eyeshadow I'm using these two shades over here and I just pack it on the outer corner first and then drag it sa inner corner and then blend it very very well next is my eyeliner I'm using this graphic ink liner from Caroline this is very good to use, especially kung parang nagpa-practice ka pa lang to do your eyeliner kasi ang dali niyang i-handle, ang dali niyang makontrol. So, I'm just doing a wing over here to create that illusion na parang li-lift yung eyes ko and medyo magiging edgy tignan. So, I'm doing the same thing on the other side. So, kung napapansin nyo, medyo napikit-pikit pa ako. Meron kasi akong dry eyes. So, ayan, oh, masakit yung mata ko talaga pag naka-open siya ng matagal. 
Next, I'm going to use a darker shade of brown para lang sa ating lower lash line. I-extend lang natin yung paloob, yung ating eyeliner. So, pag nagkakamali, you could just use your powder and then wipe it off. Next, um, I contoured my face pero hindi siya nakita kasi nakat siya dahil nag-overheat yung camera ko. So, moving forward, sa so blush on na tayo. So, always smile to locate the apples of your cheeks. So, as you can see, ang ginagawa ko rito, actually, ang gusto ko ma-achieve is yung parang drunk blush look. So, in-extend ko siya sa ilong ko until to the other side ng aking cheek. And then, just blending it very well para hindi siya mag-create ng harsh line. So, ginamit ko lang din yung kulay ng aking blush on sa aking lower lash line para lang magkaroon pa siya ng konting pop and then also kulay na din. And then next is I'm just putting some blush on sa aking chin and also I'm contouring my nose over here and I'm just trying to create that parang button nose like pero parang hindi ko ata na achieve yun. So anyway, I'm just defining my features more and then I'm using this eyelash curler to curl my lashes. And then after na to is, alam nyo na, maglalagay tayo ng ating mascara and then yung fake lashes natin. So ang ginagamit ko is itong Taiwan Lashes na 015 and I put it off cam. Next, I'm just going to put on mascara sa aking lower lashes para medyo mag-pop pa yung ating eyes. Next, meron ako dito ang sponge eyeshadow applicator. So, gagamitin ko lang din yung highlighter ko para gawin natin mas awake. Tignan yung ating eyes. Next, I'm just shaking out my color tints. So, I'm using the shades Bella and Coco. So, as you can see, sa inner part ng bibig ko muna ako naglalagay para ma-achieve natin yung gradient effect. So, gradually lang ako nagdadagdag ng lip tint. Okay, so, after ng Bella, gamitin natin yung Coco para lang mas mag-darken yung inner part ng ating bibig. After nun, gagamit lang tayo ng petroleum jelly kasi wala tayong lip gloss for now. So, gagamitin ko yung petroleum jelly para lang makreate yung glossy look sa ating bibig. So, that's it for our lips. For the final step, I'm just going to put highlighter sa ating high points. I mean, yung high points sa aking face. So, I'm just using this Pore Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Compact Powder. So, naglalagay ako sa tip ng aking nose, sa bridge ng aking nose, sa eyebrow, sa chin, and sa high points ng aking cheeks. So, I'm doing this to achieve that glass skin glowy effect when I do my makeup. Kasi usually, when we do our makeup, we have a lot of foundation and then we powder. Mat siya tignan, but on pictures, somehow medyo flat. Bet ko lang talaga yung may highlight and glowy glass skin effect. So anyway, I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I'm just going to change my clothes. I'm going to show you the after. Dun, 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 ta -da! So, this is my after makeup look and also I changed my clothes, added some accessories. So, I just thought that these accessories including these glasses, I mean the frames na walang glass will look good. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and I hope I could see you again on my next videos. I love you all so much. Goodbye!